Initiatives like this are tremendously important because the art world is a very complex, very large ecology that depends on the health and robustness of all the smaller and mid-sized organizations, non-profits, uh, which are doing the kind of R&D and early phase discussion and development of ideas that is vital to all of the art world and which are connecting artists uh, to a wider public around the world. To me, success uh, means touching every part of this ecology. The collaboration has been incredibly successful. You've seen numerous projects come to life through it, um, and so many projects that wouldn't have existed without the support of the crowdfunding initiative that Art Basel um, has launched. We strongly believe that we are part of an ecosystem, and an important part of that ecosystem is the nonprofits. The nonprofits are, in a sense, one of the labs, the testing grounds for the art world. And if you don't have a lab or a testing ground, it's very hard to move forward. So our sense was that we should take this massive community that we've built up and use that community to support the nonprofits. It's really a space that allows artists to think out loud, to experiment, and you know. Um, away from the sort of pressures of having to sell, and I think away of the, from the pressures of, of you know, institutional shows. When I'm looking at the submissions for a possible inclusion on um, the Art Basel Kickstarter page, there's so many different layers. Visually, is it interesting? Does it contribute? to the dialogue of society, what are the political implications, and I have to be honest, a lot of these criteria are subjective and personal, and it's just about my experience of over 20 years working in the art field, talking to other professionals, and um, this is a question we're always asking ourselves. Swiss Institute is a non-for-profit, independent, contemporary art institution which was created in New York almost 30 years ago. Art Basel organized a jury and selected our crowdfunding initiative with Kickstarter to fund a digitization of our 30 years of our archive. It's fantastic to see that we can broaden our outreach to engage with people who are not our supporters regularly. We've been surprised by the amounts that have been pledged by people who are not at usual Swiss Institute supporters. I'm really excited about Rick Ritt's project for the Land Foundation. Um, it's been really exciting to see him here in Art Basel talking about it and sharing it with the community here, um, that he's going to be building a structure in Thailand that will support an artist residency program there. The exhibition is called Welcome to the Future and it is uh, thousands of objects contained in a 25 foot diameter trench that's been cut into the floor of the gallery. And when you walk up to this hole, you peer down inside of it and there are objects uh, from everyday life, things that you would recognize, but they're made out of volcanic ash and crystal geological materials, um, things that make us think about time. Uh, and in many ways it's a kind of fictional archaeological site. It, it almost became a mirror for who we are as an organization. Lucas Projects has always prided itself on first and foremost supporting ambitious shows, but it's also been about accessibility and community. And we were able to take that on a new platform with Kickstarter. We were able to reach an international platform, um, all of Art Basel's amazing followers, and uh, get our project out there in a way that's never happened before, and, and it worked. When the Art Basel crowd comes into town or sees that it's supported by Art Basel, it gives us a lot of credibility that we would never have had. And we get also a lot of potential new members or visitors to Locust Projects, which is thrilling for us. This time around in the crowdfunding lab, we've um, organized several um, panel discussions and activations from the organizations, the nonprofit organizations themselves. Um, we've sort of given them the lab as a space to have as a soapbox um, to promote their agendas, to talk about what their programs are, to maybe discuss what they did with the crowdfunding initiative, um, and really just a space for them to engage with the public here. 
Donating is super easy. You go on Kickstarter, kickstarter.com slash artbasel. You'll see all the projects there. You can donate as little as a dollar or as much as you want, and um, whichever project piques your interest, they all offer rewards. Um, and some rewards are more tangible, some are more experience-based, so there's really an opportunity for a lot of people to get involved and engage with the projects at every level.